With our chassis and components, it is very easy to assemble your own fully operative solution to run your application. In the following video, we give you a brief guide to self-assembly. First, you start with the preparation. Before you begin the assembly, make sure you wear ESD protective clothing and work on a special conductive pad to avoid static electricity and prevent damage to the electronic components. Open the chassis by removing the screws and sliding it open. Now unpack the accessories and the crossbar. Finally, remove the hard disk carrier. The next step is to prepare the mainboard for installation into the chassis. First of all, screw the cooler with the back plate onto the mainboard. Then take the memory module and insert it into the memory socket. You can now insert the mainboard into the chassis. Be careful to align the mainboard with the I.O. shield and the four mounting bolts. Notice the four screws that fit the mainboard into the chassis. There is also a wireless LAN module with integrated antenna which can be used in this chassis. To install this module, break out the metal cover at the back of the chassis. Now insert the USB wireless LAN module carefully through the slot and screw it tightly onto the mounting plate. To protect the wireless LAN antenna, which is positioned outside the box, please attach the plastic cover. Finally, connect the wireless LAN module to the mainboard using the USB cable. If required, you can insert a hard disk drive into the hard disk carrier in the chassis. The hard disk can be fixed to the bottom of the carrier using the four screws provided. Next, connect the drive power cable and the SATA cable before inserting the carrier into the chassis. When inserting the hard disk carrier into the chassis, be careful of the cable routing for the wireless LAN module. To add a second serial port, remove the standard ATX bracket from the connector cable and the metal cover for the second serial plug. Insert the adapter cable through the plug into the chassis and mount it at the rear side of the housing with screws. Finally, connect the serial plug to the mainboard.
A riser card can be installed into the PCI slot on the mainboard. Remove the metal cover at the back of the housing and plug the riser card into the PCI slot. Careful attention should be paid to the correct fitting of the riser card. Use the crossbar to retain the PCI riser card. Attach the rear screw to fix the crossbar. You can also use a PCI Express Flex riser in order to install PCI Express X1 adapter cards, for example an USB 3.0 controller. The final step is to push both sections of the chassis together and secure with the mounting screws. At the back of the housing you can add a plastic lock for the AC plug in order to prevent it from being removed. If required you can assemble the feet for the housing. Please note that horizontal and vertical positions are supported. For further guidance please refer to our 7 step checklist for the assembly. The Mini ITX chassis and its key components supplied by Fujitsu are easy to assemble and provide an ideal solution for a range of applications.